welcome back. So I'd like to show you what we got from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm home now. Um, if you watched the vlog portion, then um, I went all over in an hour. <laughs> no, I went to go get Starbucks and went to the Dollar General in search of, let me show you what. Um, one of the things was Sarah Jane from Chic on the Cheap shared this Hocus Pocus pumpkin with me and like her, I love not only the movie Hocus Pocus, but like everything Halloween. So when I saw it and it was black and white and everything I love about it, I don't know what it is about a tall, thinner pumpkin that I like. I like the short squatty ones too, but I don't know, it's just something, maybe because the short squatty ones are the most common looking. I mean, maybe this is uncommon, but I totally love everything about this, especially the $3 price tag. Now, it is a Wednesday, so there is no coupon to be had. However, I might have to go back on coupon day because they have their Christmas stuff out. So before I show you everything I got for Christmas, let me show you the rest of what I got. First of all, I bought two boxes of novelty ice creams. I got one Nestle Crunch bars, which is basically the vanilla ice cream with the Nestle Crunch on the outside. And then I got one drumsticks with the, foot, with the chocolate on the inside. Um, and those were on sale two for six. So I picked up two. Ice cream is like steak and ice cream are my favorite foods. I will not lie and I tell everybody that all the time. Um, but lately, I've been doing a lot during the day and getting a little more tired at night and wanting to like scoop ice cream. It sounds like so lame. And even though I store my ice cream in a Ziploc bag and it's easier to scoop, it's just a matter of like doing it. So I thought I would grab these for the nights when I'm not feeling up to scooping my own ice cream. I know that, that sounds so crazy and lazy and wasteful, but truth is, it's the truth. I mean, I, you know, anyway. So I picked up those and I also went for, I've been on the hunt today and yesterday. I mentioned it in my regular channel or I will be mentioning in my regular channel on all the hauls coming up. But I wanted to get, at Christmas time on Black Friday, which was really Thanksgiving, day before Thanksgiving. Don't explain, I don't know. Um, Cyber Wednesday, I don't know. I bought a set of black towels. Now I normally only had ivory towels and red towels in my bathroom. Um, and I just wanted black ones for um, autumn. Two years ago, I was at uh, Lisa's sister's sissy's house. You guys saw a tour. Um, and I got this really beautiful shower curtain. She was, she used to sell on eBay and she had this really beautiful shower curtain. It was still in the package. It was um, a brown and black buffalo check or gingham, large gingham, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's absolutely stunning, but I wanted, so then that Christmas I went ahead and I bought, no, last Christmas I went ahead and bought black towels to go with it um, for the autumn and Halloween season. And um, the only autumn towels that I have that are like guest hand towels are actually not, they're like, microfiber from the Dollar Tree and I actually got rid of them and gave them away because I can't anymore with the microfiber. <laughs> so anyway, this is the color of the background of the of the of the shower curtain and I picked these up. These are a set of 5. You get two hand towels and three washcloths in this exact cocoa brown color for um I want to say they were $4. I put the prices here. You guys will see the prices. Oh, here. You see the prices here. Um, so I picked this up as well because that's the perfect. When I was walking down the aisle looking for some autumn themed ones, I found these. But then I'll tell you more about that story another time. Um, the last autumn thing that I got was I found this rug. Now, I saw people haul this rug and I didn't see it before, but I saw it now. And is it not like a jerry rug? Now this was with the autumn stuff and it's sold under the autumn label and it's $5. It's sort of like that um, outdoor felt wool feeling kind of stuff and it's totally rubber backed. And I don't think it has to be for autumn. It's basically a gray and white buffalo check and it says thankful and blessed and it's got a cotton wreath around it. So that really can be like for all the time. So I got that and I just love it. So I found these two bows, well like there was more, but I bought these two bows. They are really unusual, so I'll tell you about them. First of all, they're large. <laughs> I 
their red and black uh, plaid or or gingham they were two dollars each but they're like a really heavy duty felt can you see that in there um, they're not plastic I mean they might be actually like made out of plastic but <coughs> a super thick thick felt that is like got a really cool edge and printed on one side and I picked up two of those because I thought they were so neat and I have an idea of what I want to do with them on my porch <clears throat> so sorry about that <clears throat> glass glasses and paint brushes um, where do you want the receipt from mom just leave it on the Co black coffee table, please. <clears throat> I found these. <clears throat> and yeah, I know what you're saying. Jerry, you can make those. But not for $3. I can't make three of them for $3. Sorry about that. I really can't make them for $3. Even if I bought the three baseball, plastic wiffle ball baseballs that they have at the Dollar Tree, um, it's got to have at least a dollar's worth of fabric on it and at least a dollar's worth of trimming. So maybe I can make them for $3, but I can't make them for less than $3. I guess that's what I'm saying. And they're view very pretty. They have this um, like sort of flocked pine and a couple of berries on top. They have a jute bow as well as a jute hanger and this beautiful black and red <clears throat> lumberjack print. When we, when Emily was having her last baby. That's when we, we found it called Lumberjack. Print. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take a second just to straighten this all out because basically I got a whole bag of ornaments. So the Dollar General had dollar ornaments. Perfect name, right? They actually had quite a few and I'll insert pictures here. Actually, I think the pictures were already, I think you guys already saw the pictures. <clears throat> so what I did was I picked Ones that I thought I, you know, ones that I loved, ones that I'm pretty sure would sell out and I needed to get them today. And then a couple to do some DIYs. So don't hate me if you were looking for these and I bought them all. I'm sorry. But they had these. Let me show you the three different designs. How's that? And I'll show you I got two of these. So they had these gift tags and they are really, really thick MDF. Thicker than any of the signages at the Dollar Tree. Um, and they're tag shaped. And this one says Joy to the World. And is on like a gray wash. This one says Tis the Season to Be Jolly. And it's on a white and gray wash. And this one says Let It Snow. And it's on a red and gray wash. And what I did was I picked up basically all the ones that they had. Um, three of these and then two extra. Because... I am for 100% sure going to DIY these. I already have some ideas in mind, but um, I, of course, will share with you. But let's get through Thanksgiving first. <laughs> but is that so cute? It's, again, that really thick MDF. It has a piece of fabric on it with some snow in the shape of a snow shovel, and it says snow on it. They also had other ones. Um, I don't know if I took up close pictures of them, but you'll see. And it's got a piece of pine up here at the top and a jute hanger, and it was $1. Actually, all of these ornaments, except the boxes. Well, the boxes technically are a dollar because you get three for $3, right? Um, but all the ornaments that I picked up today are a dollar. Oh. So it says Hope. It has a, a black and red gingham check back here, and it's got a, like, laser-edged dimensional. Do you see me put my finger in there? Um, around here. So the border of each letter um, is on there. It's got a pine decoration with a little um, red plaid bow, which I kind of think is weird because they actually use like a traditional tartan, Christmas tartan, and then the black and red doesn't really go together. But I really did, <clears throat> excuse me, I really did love this one. Um, so I picked it up. They also had one that said snow and the snow was in black and white stripes. Um, but hope, how can you go wrong? 
They had it in red and black and black and white. I picked up the black and white one. I, I am really tempted to just, I feel like if you pull this berry off, this could be a house at any time. Um, this is probably supposed to be snow, but it just looks like it's worn away to me. Um, and this is actually just cardboard, like on a thin piece of chipboard. Um, isn't that cute, Jim? All this pretty Christmas stuff. I know. Can you believe it already? Um, and it, this is sort of feels like cork. it feels like cork. Um, I don't know what it is though. And it's just really cute, cute little house. And I had they had them in black and red too. <clears throat> The bot the this the roof and the floor. The roof and the floor. It feels and looks like cork, doesn't it? Yeah, almost. I love this one. Now granted we don't have kids, but it kinda reminds me of like if you had kids. But I really love the shape. It's a stop sign shape and it says Santa stop here. And it's got a uh, red and like worn uh, barn board look to it. It's got a little jute bow and some greenery. It's cute. I picked up two of these and I think it was on accident that they're the same, but I'm sure I can easily gift one. Um, but they're these front doors. They actually, I thought I was picking up a red one and then a white one, but I ended up picking up two white ones. But they're so cute and honestly, they are just a couple of pulls away from being an everyday kind of decor too because you can pop that piece off the back or redecorate it to say whatever you want it or just paint it to look like the door. Um, it's got a black and white check bow at the top <clears throat> and it says home for the holidays so those are really cute as well um, this one I felt was so super so super unique that I haven't seen this in an ornament before um, it looks like a country ladder and it says faith family and blessed and the rungs of the ladder are red no no the rises of the ladder are red and the rungs of the ladder are white and green um, and then white with red writing and green with white writing. And then it has this garland draped around it like you would decorate a ladder at your house. And again, all of these ornaments are just a dollar. <clears throat> this one I bought, it's got glitter, uh, not glitter, but it's like a, a garland. It's got sparkle, but I didn't get it because it had sparkle. I actually got it because I think it's gorgeous and worth way more than a dollar in my opinion. But there is this beautiful cut work very very beautiful layered so there's like the background there's like different layers so the background is some trees then there's like the papa moose or mama moose then there's the baby moose is on top of that and then in the same level as the baby moose is this big tree and the same level as the papa moose is this tree back there i just love it and then of course the whole thing is in sort of a, a snowflake star-esque type shape um, they did put this little tiny red gar um, silver garland around it, but I think that probably would be easily removed if it's offensive. <laughs> Not that it would be offensive, but you know what I mean. And it has this little bead at the top, which I just thought was so pretty. I'm sorry, I just thought it was so pretty. I'm going to show it to you again. So pretty. I really got that with Jim in mind. He's a very outdoorsy kind of guy. And then the last ornament, and I just found something, another autumn prop thing I didn't share with you, sorry. And the last ornament was this. This was everything. <sighs> it's galvanized. It's on a thick piece of chipboard. It has the black and red little tiny check bow. It's got the rivets, like it's riveted on there. And of course it says peace. Um, it has a jute hanger. And I feel like there probably were other ones, like the way it looked like it was picked through, but I only found ones that said peace. Um, but maybe they were in the middle of putting stuff out and stuff. So. I really, really like that. And I realized the last autumn thing that I didn't share with you is I picked up a placemat. Um, it says, hello fall, and it has the red truck with the pumpkins. I bought the table runner that matches this, but I was going, I was thinking about using this um, either to make a pillow or to cut the thing out, I don't know, for decoration basically, not just for a placemat, okay? Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I don't know where this video is going. It could go on the end of the other Dollar Tree hole. could go on the end of the shop with me. I don't really know. But just to give you a little background, hi, my name is Jerry Ann Henson. I am a 49 year old housewife who lives in mid-Missouri from Long Island, New York, in case you're hearing that in my voice and um, saying, where is she from? Um, I moved here in 2013 and absolutely love it. 
I could do without the heat and the humidity, but that's pretty much all over the country right now, so forgive me. But I went to the Dollar General. Now we have three Dollar Generals in Rolla now. One is new with the expanded home section. You saw that haul already. Um, and then this one was the one over on Forum Drive. Um, Jim wasn't feeling good and he had a toothache, so I had to run to get him some Ambisol. And this was the Dollar, Gen the Dollar General that was right by his job. So what you're not gonna see is the, R the uh, Rexall Ambisol. It's the liquid Ambisol that he got. Um, and I will put a picture and the price and everything. I also bought him like an Aura Gel, but the knockoff, the generic Aura Gel, like a gel. Um, because one, the liquid is more concentrated and stronger, but it's a little bit harder to get exactly where you want it. And the gel is easier to apply, but of course it's not as strong as the, as the liquid. But while I was there, I found some things. So I mentioned in the previous video that I'm trying to find autumn guest towels for my bathroom. I had had those lousy Dollar Tree microfiber leaf ones and I get dry skin, I bite my nails, forgive me, I'm sorry if that offends you. You could go watch someone else's channel who gets manicures. But it's, I always found have found it very hard to craft with nails. I've never been able to. Regardless, the the skin sometimes gets dry and microfiber just catches on them and it gives me the willies. So I've been trying to find towels to replace the, um, the microfiber towels. I actually already got rid of them. So right now there's nothing there. Um, so I was shopping around, shopped online. I finally found something that'll be coming hopefully in the next couple of days and hopefully it looks nice. But in the meantime, I went to the Dollar General and first of all, they were having a 25% off green dot sale. So first thing I want to show you, actually, let me leave that for the end, the 25% off green dot sale. Let me show you that at the end. Um, but I will show you that I have bought, I bought this set of towels in a previous haul. Um, it has red truck with the brown pick up, the brown um, crate in the back, not like solid red. He's got the brown wood crate in the back and with pumpkins and it's embroidered on there. And it's so pretty. Um, and it's the only thing on this white towel. And I actually think that this might work in the guest room. I mean, in the guest, in the bathroom for guest towels. Um, right now there's really no white. There's like, you know, this counter is white and the sink is white, so white always works. But I was trying, and I, I didn't think about it at first. Um, and it comes with this beautiful red towel. And these are really terry cloth, like waffle weave terry cloth, 100% cotton towels. So they're really nice. You get two for $4, totally worth it. So I know what you guys are thinking. Let me take a sip. They have stuff like this at the Dollar Tree. They, if they had stuff like this at the Dollar Tree, they may be a dollar a towel, but what I'm doing is I'm comparing to like if I went to Kohl's, this would be ten dollars for the pack. If I went to TJ Maxx, it might be eight. So for four dollars, it was totally worth it for me. Isn't it weird how I always give me one embroidered towel and then one plain one? Not just them. Um, I think that's it for the autumn. Yeah, and then Christmas. Oh, I also picked up this set of dental tools. We're not going to be picking anything, but we just wanted the mirror. Um, and the mirror, the one that I had from the Dollar Tree, the mirror was like a piece of plastic stuck on there and over the while, over the while, over the course of <coughs> looking in your back of your teeth, it gets like cloudy and scratched. So we picked up this one, it's got a glass mirror. <coughs> <coughs> so we picked this one up to see what's going on back there for him. So I picked up one, three Halloween thingies. And then two Christmas things. <laughs> um, first thing I want to show you, which I thought was super cute, is you guys have seen these baskets before that look like spiders. Um, but this one is like tan colored and it's a skull and crossbones. I guess that's what we call it. It's a spider web made out of bones and it has skulls on it. And I know people don't like Halloween and they think it's scary and they think it's got evil connotations. I don't believe that. So I love this and I love... Um, the meaning behind Halloween of how we um, basically represent our death and welcome our death and, and that kind of thing. So our loved ones have passed on. It's just it's just different. It's cultural. Um, plus, it, to me, it's sentimental. Halloween was always one of my mom's favorites, too. She would always throw together a 
$2 five minute costume right before you had to go trick or treat. <laughs> so I found these coffee mugs, they're the to-go coffee mugs, just like they have at the Dollar Tree, um, but they're in sets of two and they have Halloween sayings on them. This one is black and in red, it says, I want to drink your coffee. But of course you hear it with bats and of course you hear Dracula, right? I want to drink your coffee. And that's what I hear anyway. And then this one I love. It's in purple and in black and green letters with a witch's hat. It says, Hocus Pocus Coffee Makes Me Focus. <laughs> and boy, is that true. Um, and these are cute. I like to keep these things in ha on hand just in the cabinet. If I have company and uh, say we're going to go out for the day and company wants a to-go cup, I can actually gift this to them too. I mean, they can have it. They can take it home with them, whatever. I don't have to worry about getting them back. So two things I got in the Christmas section. One of them is like, is that Christmas? Um, the first one I got is this $8 fabric tablecloth. Now this is different than the fabric buffalo check tablecloth that I got from the Dollar General before. And I will lay this one on top of that one and take a picture so you guys can see that. Um, but it is the same size. It is just has a very different buffalo check. So this one actually, it looks like it's supposed to be like denim almost, or burlap perhaps, even printed on burlap. It doesn't feel that way, it feels like a nylon tablecloth, but it looks like it's supposed to be that way. Um, and they are $8, and of course, I said to the lady as I was shopping, she's like, did you find everything you wanted, and I'm, uh, everything you needed? I'm like, plus, and it's not coupon day, because I'm a true believer of coupon day. Saturday, almost every Saturday during the year, Dollar General online or on their app has five dollars off twenty five dollars a coupon that you get off of everything that you get I mean there's some exclusions tobacco cigarettes tobacco and cigarettes well tobacco and cigarettes uh, alcohol there are other exclusions but um, it's such a great deal because you can add those savings um, when I usually do a Dollar General haul the price that you see here is after all the savings and the other thing that I got in the Christmas section was a dollar. And I cannot, and I repeat, I cannot believe that they sold this for just a dollar. And I got two of them, but I'm only gonna show you one. It is this ginormous, huge, freaking amazing Christmas stocking that says, Balala. And it's in black and white gingham or Buffalo Jack, you know, I always learned that gingham was the small, buffalo check was the big, but you know, here. Buffalo check, gingham, see the difference? <laughs> but it's just this red felt, it's completely plain on the back, and I picked up two of them, and in case you didn't believe me, I mean, it's a dollar. Um, and if you go on your coupon day, it's gonna be less than a dollar, but for a dollar, that is a ginormous stocking. I feel like they do have big stockings at the Dollar Tree, but I feel like they're plain. Um, this one with the follow la written on it. I mean, first of all, even if you just wanted to rip off the letters and DIY them onto something else, it'd be worth it. I'd pay a dollar just for the letters is what I'm saying. The last thing that I got, which I said started in the beginning, was the blue, green dot was 25% off green dot items. And I really have been wanting one of these for a very long time. It is this giant galvanized tub. It was originally $10, I got it for $7.50. And it really is a ginormous galvanized tub. Um, I will show you if you stay, well stay, if you join us for a full house tour, a house decorating tour, I will show you what I'm gonna do with this. I'm so excited to do what I'm gonna do with this. And um, yeah, can't wait. But I'm super excited to find it. Um, it has wooden handles on both sides and it's a real, you know, not plastic bucket painted, uh, galvanized for seven fifty. You know, sometimes we we forget when we DIY something, and it's something I say often on my channel. I can't make that for a dollar. You know, could I make a, a galvanized looking bucket for seven fifty? I probably could, but why when I need when I can get a real galvanized bucket for seven fifty? Um, that kind of thing. So keep that in mind when you DIYing. You don't always save when you save. One of the things that I talk about was uh, those long wooden signs, and I just wanted them for my home, but people bought them to DIY with. And people end up using like $30 worth of wooden signs to make a table when you can go to Lowe's 
and get the same amount of wood for like 750 so it's like not always when you buy something is it worth it I guess is what I was trying to say so that's everything from this Dollar General haul. Um, if you have any questions at all, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share this video with friends and family. Anybody who might be interested in seeing what I got. And yes, Dollar General has a autumn, Halloween, and Christmas all at the same time. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, you take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.